Well, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Moments with the Marcelins. My name is June. And my name is Stephanie. And we are the Marcelins. Our moments together will be centered around three things, transparency, tools, and truth. Yes, welcome to episode five episode of season five. four. Midway. <laughs> so on this episode, we were really kind of just thinking through, um, we know we have some new listeners. Obviously, there's been some updates, big updates to our life. And what better way and moment for you all to get to know us a little bit better. So we're excited. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe and like and share. Um, leave us a comment. We'll definitely respond and everything like that um, as well. And if you're listening to this, you can definitely leave us a review. Um, but without further ado... And subscribe as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But so without further ado, um, we found this game. It's called Let's get deep <laughs> and so it is a questions for couples um and so we're going to play it um with you all we have not played this game before um we have the instructions here that we're going to read and therefore kind of begin this it should be fun so, <laughs> so the first thing is how to play um so the time you put down your phone um Sorry, I'm gonna start that again. Right here. Bam. Where are the instructions? Is How it this? There it is, right okay. there. <laughs> Let's start here. How to play. So the person who made the first move in their relationship is the first to draw a card. For each you round. Start drawing. You made the first move. Oh, what my are you bad, my about? bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> For each round, draw one icebreaker card, two deep cards, and two deeper cards. One player reads the card for the other player to answer. Players alternate turns, reading and answering questions, starting with the icebreaker card, um, and then working their way to the other two deep and deeper cards. Um, how to win? You basically play until you know a little bit more about each other. So there's another part on that, but so. I'm not going to read it. If you're a couple and you're interested to see what the other part of the instruction was, by all means, you can buy it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does come with three sets of cards. So we have the icebreaker cards, which is the light purple, which is or like, lavender. Right, lavender? I think lavender is a little lighter. Okay. Then the deep ones are a dip, deeper purple, and then um, deeper. So we shuffled them around now. They're pretty much ready to go. All right. So so what is let's it again? Go ahead and. <laughs> Okay, we're going to keep that open so we can play this game. Right, because y'all ain't going to come for me. Yes. Uh, okay, so we got one icebreaker. For each, well. Two deep cards. Two deep cards, and then two deeper cards. And then two deeper cards. Okay. All right, so let's start. All right. One icebreaker. It should be deep. fun. Excuse me, and two deeper cards. And let us know in the comments, what games do you guys play? You know, do you guys as couples or friends play games? I know another one that's pretty big mm. is the We're Not Really Strangers game. Mm. Um, so if you've played that game before, let us know. Yeah, and for sure. To kind of like see how it works. Okay, um, icebreaker question number okay. one. What's your favorite movie? Oh, really? Yep. My favorite movie? Mm-hmm. See, this is the thing. I'm not a favorites person, and people come at me like for it all the time. Like, if you tell me what's my favorite food, I don't have one. I just love food. Like, favorite gotta, color. For the sake of the game and our <laughs> listeners, you gotta uh, put. It could be your favorite today, but maybe not your favorite tomorrow. So you gotta pick one. Okay. So favorite today that comes to my head. I guess the movie I really really like is um, Couples Retreat. Mm. It's like three mm -hmm. or four different couples that go on this like intimacy retreat and like they do therapy and all this other fun stuff. Okay. I watched it recently. That's, that's, a, fun, that's, that's a funny one. That's a funny one. That's a funny one. All right. Okay. So. Mine. What? Hold oh. on. Oh, we're going to go no, one by one. We have to go one by one. Yeah. I mean, so are you making rules up? I don't know if that goes like that. What are you talking about? We do <laughs> one, what each category. So I have to do my icebreaker one too. Okay. okay. Clearly someone didn't listen to the instructions. So my icebreaker card. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Hmm. If I and would, why? Okay. I would probably say to be able to teleport anywhere. Um, 
the reason being, like, if there's a crisis, I can just get there in the snap of a finger and come okay. to the rescue if I'm a superhero. Yeah. 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 Let's see. What would my superpower be? My superpower would probably be to be invisible. Why? What? Because you can, like, you know, just be invisible and, like, go all over the world and no one would ever see that you're there. Like, that's really cool. You, got, you, don't, want, you don't want to say hi to nobody? No. <laughs> you can clearly, obviously, tell who's the more social butterfly in their relationship. Who's an introvert and who's an extrovert. I'm definitely an introvert. So, of course, I would pick to be invisible. Of course you would. <laughs> um, <laughs> next true, question. Introvert, <laughs> in true introvert form. Yeah. Spoken like, spoken like a true <laughs> introvert. Uh, next, next question. Next one is deep. So, the deep question. Yes. What's your favorite... Number two. What's your favorite inside joke that we have? Inside joke. Damn, um, we about to really put it out there. I know. Um, there's one that comes to mind. It's like there's levels to this. Okay, that's like, a good that's one. That's the inside joke that we have. Yes. Um, we'll share the story in a minute, but that's a good one. Which what's your favorite that kind of comes to mind? I'm drawing blanks right now. Are you serious? I'm drawing blanks You're right now. You're gonna put me on the spot. Yeah. So. Okay, so there's levels to this comes from when we first started dating, mm -hmm. I was like, I guess just trying to be careful with like how fast we like move in our relationship and playing hard to get or playing hard to get, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, um, like he, he would try to like, or you would try to hold my hand. Or you would try to like put your arm around me and all this kind of stuff, but we weren't like official official. Mm. So I was kind of like, yo, you need to chill out. Like there's levels to this. And I would mm. literally do this like all the time. Um, and he would get so annoyed. <laughs> um, Cause I'd just be like, no, like we need to wait. Like we're still like getting to know each other and like whatever, try not to move too fast. And so, yeah. That's a good one. Does any of us, any, any I'm still, to yeah. I could, okay. We could circle back to that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next deep question is, what is something that always makes you laugh? Mm. Something that always makes me laugh. Man, that's such a broad question. Uh, people. <laughs> people. People. Yes. People. people. people oh, and funny. and Twitter. Social media makes me laugh a lot. Like I say, TikTok too sometimes. Yes, TikTok and the videos, just memes, memes. memes yes, memes. Me. Memes make me laugh so much. Like I just be in my corner and just crying, laughing. She's she like, really "What's going is. on?" And I'm like, "Yo, did you see this video and stuff like that?" So yeah, social media is undefeated. So I'll probably have to say that social media and the memes. <laughs> You, you're always guaranteed a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think the probably the most recent thing was the crate challenge because there's a oh part of me that was gosh. like, yo, y'all need to be careful out there. I don't want anyone to get hurt, seriously hurt. But then there's another part of me that, uh, yeah, I was like, keep doing it. I want to keep <laughs> laughing. So yeah, <laughs> my guilty pleasure is watching the people hurt themselves. Um, Next deep question. Oh, no, this is the deeper. No, you're supposed to draw two. Deep oh, okay. Deep. Okay. I just forgot to ask it. Okay. What's one of your family traditions? So my family, my favorite family tradition is um, probably that birthdays are like really, really big in my family. Um, and they have been ever since I was little. So we would make like a really big deal. And it wasn't like, it has to be like extravagant or elaborate or like you have all these different gifts and all these different things, which is, you know, it's cool to have at times, but it was more that like you spent quality time with each other. Um, you know what I mean? That day is really like all about, you know, you and what you like and what you, you know, want to celebrate and you know, celebrating another year and, um, you know, hitting milestones in life and all that kind of stuff. So it's really just like kind of like that quality time and then, you know, family together, just doing something, you know, for you. That's cool. Um, so I like that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next deep question is what's your favorite way to spend your birthday mm, my favorite way to spend my birthday is going somewhere out of town i'm real chill about my birthday yeah. uh it consists of just kind of chilling throughout the day probably hitting up a museum uh probably going sightseeing at a different city um and also just over a nice dinner 
I think yeah. I already said that, but yeah, with some good food. So go going, you know, food in a new restaurant or something. And you can't forget the cake. Oh, the cake. Absolutely. <laughs> I love cake. Can't so. forget cake. Yes, definitely. So um <laughs> All right, now we're moving to level three. Deeper. Deeper. What's an ability you'd like to have <clears throat> and why? An ability? Ooh. An ability I'd like to have. Maybe to be a little bit more musically inclined, mm. whether it's like singing or maybe not necessarily singing, but playing an instrument. Okay. Because I'm not one to like put myself out there in the front. Like I would never <laughs> do that. Um, but anyways, some type of like being more musically inclined, I think okay. would be something I would love to to have. Okay. And why? Or learn. Um, I don't know. I feel like you're developing another skill or another discipline that's just for like enjoyment mm. and like with my work it's you know what i mean you're just using your brain a lot like it's very like you know mm -hmm. operational per se um and so i feel like the other flip side of that would be something that is more for like enjoyment i know there's a discipline in that right, and there's right. like growth and mm -hmm. you know you have to practice etc but i don't know i feel like that would be fun yeah yeah to learn or to do for sure yeah for sure all right, next deeper question. If your friends and acquaintances were willing to bluntly and honestly tell you what they really thought of you, what would you want them? Would you want them to? Yes, I would. Yes. Why? Oh. I had to do it. Oh, you had to do it. Why? <laughs> Look, there she goes, adding to the game. Um, I would say so because it, it keeps you grounded. Um, you know, I think those closest to you know you most. You know, people always have an assumption of who you are or who they perceive you to be on social media. So, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, yeah. keep you level-headed and grounded. Okay. okay. If you had a memoir, what would it be called? Ooh, a memoir. Uh, let's see. A memoir. That's pretty serious, though, because like other people would read it and like. Let's see, a memoir, a journey in finding yourself, mm. or something like that. I like that. Yeah. All right, last deeper question of level one. <clears throat> Have you ever had any recurring dreams? What were they about? Mm. I know that I have. I'm, I'm drawing blank right now as to one that kind of pops up in my mind. Uh, do you remember of anything that I've told you recently that is a recurring dream? Ugh. Recently? Man, I'm really trying to think about that one. I'm, I'm certain that I have. I just can't think off top of my mind right now. I know you, you, not that it's been recent, but you do have recurring dreams sometimes with your dad. Yes, perfect example. Yeah, so sometimes I'll have like a reoccurring dream, like I'm back in my childhood and my dad is there. Or I'm like 20 years old and like my dad kind of pops up in my dreams and I'm like, talk, but he doesn't talk, he's just kind of there. And uh, it's, yeah, that is definitely something that's reoccurring, yeah. that like happens like every other, every so often. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, thank you for that reminder. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Let's go that's to... Uh, All right, yes, so we're gonna do another round. So one icebreaker, two deep, and two deeper questions. All right, all right, all right. Hope y'all are enjoying this game so far and getting to know us a little better. Yes. All right. All right. Oh, this is a cool one. All right, go ahead. All right. What's your favorite mu- mu Oh, I thought it said music. What's your favorite movie drama? Genre. What is your favorite movie genre? My favorite movie genre? Ooh, I feel like it's like a tie. Between between action and like romantic comedy, mm. like those like rom com is what they call it, right? Yeah, rom com. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Next icebreaker question: <laughs> Do you sing in the shower? All the time. <laughs> and at any and any hour of the day, like it could be six a.m. and I'm deep sleep and he's <laughs> singing, like he doesn't yes. mind that I am sleeping, or it can be really really late and I'm sleeping and. He could be showering and singing. 
see what had happened. But it's was. okay. It's okay. Yes. Just things you work through together, you know? Things you work through together. <laughs> Next deep question. Which family member of yours do you think I would get along with best and why? <laughs> this is funny. That is funny. Especially being that we're married. I right? know. Yeah. Uh, I think... I think who you get along with, like, the most... And I would have said this, like, even when we were dating, it's my <laughs> sisters. Like, my sisters and you are, like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's more like personalities like each of them have their own unique personalities and you mm -hmm. like know how to like navigate that and then um, They're just funny and you just yes. love to be around funny people. Yes, you yes, know what yes. I mean that you can just be yourself with so <laughs> definitely. For sure, for sure. All right. Now. This is the realest question ever Who was your first celebrity crush and why? Oh <laughs> We really doing this right now? <laughs> That's <weird>. Um <clears throat> First celebrity crush that you can remember? That I can remember. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So, first, 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 probably yeah. Kelly Kapowski. Okay. S Saved by the Bell. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That was a fictional character. Yeah. Um, and then I remember, uh, I would probably say as I got older, probably Gabrielle Union. Okay. Yeah. But you have to say why. Why? Because they were pretty. They were pretty. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Uh, first celebrity crush. First and then like your... I think that I can, like as far back as I can remember was Chad Michael Murray from like One Tree Hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think that was like the first one that I ever remember like. Okay. You're like, oh my gosh. Because then he was also like in a Cinderella story with like Lizzie. Mm -hmm. Not Lizzie McGuire, but Hilary Duff. And, and then like, as you oh got older, it was someone else. Who was it? Uh, you clearly know. Why don't you tell me? I'm trying to get you to think. <laughs> see if there's another one. No. I mean, it's just the first one. So that's like you the first push -ups. one. push-ups. Anyways. Next question. What is the last thing you do before bed? The last thing I do before bed... Mm -hmm. I put my alarm on for the next day. <laughs> no, you don't need an alarm. She does not need an alarm. Let me tell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going with that? You don't need an alarm. Yes, I do. I wake up to work every day. I'm your alarm. No. <laughs> no, no, no. She doesn't wake up to her alarm, y'all. That's not true. I do wake up to my alarm. Okay. Anyways, we're getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to give me a pet other than a dog or a cat, what would you get me and why? Ooh. Oh, you better guess it right. A dog? Other, other, other than, than a dog, dog or a cat. Oh, a bear. Uh, uh, a panda bear. Yes! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, love, you love panda bears. I love pandas. Bears. Yeah. literally the cutest thing. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> when was the first time you realized you wanted to be in a relationship with me? Wow, got deeper. That is deeper, level three. Um, that I first realized. So, do you remember when we were like first getting to know each other, mm -hmm. and we went to Chick Fil A, mm. and we were talking, and we were trying to play like Truth or Dare, like you know what I mean, not in like a weird way, but it was more like you know just. There's putting it all on the table you know what i'm yeah. saying <laughs> um so we were playing that and then we just kept calling truths like you know what i mean like what was that like for you or what did you do or whatever mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. and it was like about like all as aspects of our life like childhood and like teenage years and whatever and i kept like you know what i mean you're answering these questions truthfully and like right. nothing set you back in a way or like nothing made you be like, ooh, this girl, or what, you know what I mean? Like right, nothing right. like that. Everything was kind of like, oh, okay. Like you would, like you kind of just accepted it and took it. Like, like it was nothing mm -hmm, different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So the fact that I felt like you had accepted me from me, like at that early part of our, you know, getting to yeah. know each other, yeah. it's like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Cool, cool. All right, All right next deeper question. <clears throat> what are the things we have most in common? Ooh, 
What do we have most in common? Our love for food. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Just our love to travel. Mm -hmm. Um, Our love for just quality time and being with each other. Um, Our values. um, Our generosity. Mm And just kind of having a good time. Those are some things that kind of pop off the top of my mind. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Um, Next deeper question. What is something you want to do together that we have not done yet? Mm, Put me in trouble. Let's see. I don't think it's anything like bad, but there's definitely certain places that I want to travel to. Yes. That I feel like we haven't had the chance to. Yeah. And that's like what I really, really want to do. Yeah. And then we had planned to last year, but then obviously COVID and the pandemic just wasn't the right time. And then we were thinking about this year and then we're Baby. pregnant. So it's just like, <laughs> okay, that's not going to ultimately work out like we wanted to, too. Mm-hmm. So I think it's more that, like the travel part. Yeah. Uh, what's something you would have never gotten into, but you did because of me Mm, that's a really good question um wow okay so that i would have never gotten into you would have never gotten into oh man that's that's a tough one um I will say one thing. You really got me into this whole skincare products. That's one thing for sure. (laughs) Yeah. That I would have otherwise. Yes. Like, I just used to put lotion on my face. Wash my face, put lotion on my face. That was it. Like, you got me into all these skincare products, putting masks on. That's right. Like, now I go into the stores, and I'm 30, 40 minutes in a section just looking at the best skincare routines. And so, that's definitely something that I would say. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Let's play one more round. One, one more, more round? Yeah, okay, one more okay. Round. One more round. If you had to pick one, Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Okay. Why? Uh, <laughs> less political debates. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, on a serious yes note, Instagram no. is... No, for real though. Um, <laughs> Instagram is, is cooler. Yeah, yeah, I think Instagram's cooler. Okay. Um, do you like your coffee black or with cream and sugar? Cream and sugar. Even though I miss drinking coffee, because mm. I haven't been able to drink coffee in Aww. the last five months. Um, not because I'm like being doing the whole caffeine free thing because of the baby, <laughs> even though it's good for you. But I drink it and it just doesn't sit well. So for someone who's drank coffee like all of her life, it's been tough. Yeah, man. Can't saving, go back. saving hundreds and thousands of dollars from <laughs> Starbucks. Not so even. Not... <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Okay, my turn or your turn? Uh, no, my like, turn. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What uh, do you have a favorite artist? Like musical or? I guess. Yeah, let's just. Let, let's music. just music. Okay. Music, yeah. Um, for sure. Uh, hip hop. I would say Nazir Jones is my favorite musician mm-hmm. artist of all time. He's he's a man. King's Disease Two is an amazing album. Is there a place where you're a regular customer? If so, where? <clears throat> Where I'm a regular customer, uh, yeah, I guess a couple places. Mm-hmm. Uh, Publix. Mm-hmm. Uh, Target. Target, that's the one right there. <laughs> Is Target putting Sephora's in their store? Did I hear no, that? No, Target put Ulta in their oh, store. Oh, have mercy. And then Kohl's is putting Sephora in their oh, stores. Lord. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. We're going to be in there longer and than we want to. Shopping wise, huh? H&M. Regular customer and Zara sometimes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. You go. My go? Was it my go? Yeah, you go. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Um, uh-huh. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? If so, why were you speeding? The question we all want to know. <laughs> we just talking about this. So. We're literally talking about I this have. Story. It's been a couple of years. The reason mm-hmm. I was speeding, I was probably running late to an appointment that I had. So make sure you leave early so you can drive chill and not get a ticket. Right. What are, oh, okay. What is your, your, what is your most embarrassing memory from where, when you were younger? My most embarrassing memory? Oh Mm -hmm. man. 
Um, I think we shared this in the gender reveal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I was like in middle school and uh, I went to the bathroom and I came out and the guy that I had a crush on was like literally standing like right outside the bathroom like against the lockers. <laughs> and I walk over there and I'm like with a, like a girl or like one of, one of my girls or two and um, he just like, he smiles and I'm like, oh, he's smiling at me. But the fact that he's smiling is because he's like, you have something on your shoe. I literally had toilet paper mm. walking out of the bathroom to go see this guy for that for the first time I feel like he noticed me mm. and the first time he noticed <laughs> you all right he noticed you I have toilet paper on my shoe so that was so embarrassing so you can just imagine <laughs> I'll just like tragame tierra like yeah. I just I'll like share swallow me earth like yes. it's just, I'll yeah. share a story with you I was in seventh grade middle school and there was this girl <gasps> that I share it? Okay. no not that oh never no, mind no, no, no. Okay, I'm okay. gonna share the this story okay. there's a girl that i had a crush on and um she told me she complimented me told me i had a nice smile and so every time i was around her i just wanted to smile <laughs> so every day after lunch like and y'all remember this like when like you had your lunch and then you can buy a cookie and so i used to always bring her buy two chocolate chip cookies and i would always bring one to me after lunch to go to class and so i'm in class i'm eating my cookie pulling out my pocket just you know and um <laughs> not realizing and so, uh, <laughs> so I remember it was my homeboy, the girl that I liked, and someone else, and like we're all sitting at the table, and I'm just trying to smile, just you know, trying to trying to flirt Your and stuff like that, while I'm eating the chocolate chip <laughs> cookie, and I'm smiling at her, and then immediately I notice her face changes. Like normally when I would smile at her, she smiled back, yeah, but like her face, it seemed like she was terrified, and she was like. <laughs> And then you gotta you gotta watch YouTube if you're listening to get the visuals. And so I'm like, what? What's happening? I'm I'm still smiling like I'm smiling <laughs> and not realizing I have a chocolate chip stuck on my teeth, so it looks oh like I have a missing gosh. tooth. So my boy was like that. He's like, oh man, you got a chocolate chip. And I know this is so stupid now, like because I'm an adult. But when you're in seventh grade, twelve years old, and the girl you like is dying, laughing, crying, turning red, and then your homeboy's laughing, and I'm just like, what's oh. happening? He's like. No, you got a chocolate chip in your tooth. And then I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God. And I start sweating. Oh, and I'm, I'm like, earth swallow me. I was so embarrassed. Like, the whole class was laughing at me. So, oh, yeah. Oh, man. For sure. I'll never forget that. It's crazy how that still remains yes, lodged in my mind. Absolutely. Now. Yeah, for All sure. Right. So, level three, deeper. And last couple questions here. Um, what is your favorite memory of us together? Mm. Favorite memory of us together. Um, man, it's hard to sum up just one moment. Um, I think whenever we just kind of are together, just chilling, traveling, um, the day we said I do to one another, mm -hmm. um, the day we found out that, you know, we're going to be having a baby, mm -hmm. that was like a memorable moment for one another the day I proposed to you I'm just thinking about like these highlight moments <laughs> yeah. but then there's also just kind of moments where we just kind of like just just chilled at home and just like we're like, oh my god like probably 2020 that like we were just chilling in the living room last year and we were just watching a video like watching those memes and we were dying laughing we like laughing. crying laughing for like an hour straight <laughs> That is one of my favorite memories of us together, yeah. like for real, just in our natural element, just laughing, yeah. just laughing. So for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, last question for me is what is your ideal day to spend together? Um, let's see. So <coughs> definitely involves food. Yes. <laughs> definitely involves travel mm. um, and either going to like a concert or going to like a musical or mm. going to like to do something like that together. I think those are like top three things for us. Okay. And sleeping in. Okay. For sure. <laughs> sleeping in. <laughs> okay, cool. Um last question. Would you be willing to reduce your life expect life expectancy by five years to become extremely attractive? Heck no. <laughs> I already, I, I found you, we married, you know, like, I want to live a long life, 
And so, yes. listen, we hope y'all enjoyed this game yes. uh, with us. Uh, we do we, recommend it. So if we, you yeah. want to play something like this, this is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And even when you're with someone, you learn something different. I don't know, did you learn anything new today? No, I guess not all the time. You don't learn anything <laughs> different. So um. I guess maybe just the questions that we got. The questions that yeah. we got. Yeah, so uh, thank you again for, for tuning in. We're midway through the season, so let us know what your favorite episode has been so far. Yes. And also let us know what are some other topics that you would like for us to touch on. Thank you again. Make sure that you subscribe, that you uh, ring the notification button, and uh, thank you for all the support and the love that you guys have shown us. Yeah, take care. God Be bless. easy, God bless, and, and much, much love. love.